Also, if you purchase the wine tumblers, you do get the lid, you get the um, tumbler, you get the sleeve that the tumbler goes in, and then you get the white box. And the cool thing about the white box is if you plan on selling these, then I would suggest putting your little sticker on here, like with your logo, or you can write a little... Um, no, I can't let you browse my images now. Um, you can put your little thank you note on the box. So it looks really professional. Thank you so much. I try to stay organized the best I can. Our town is in the mountains, so mountains and stars would be cool. Phoenix or something. Thank you. I made this shirt. Um, I want to choose something that... Um, I already have I don't want to have to purchase anything so I want to choose something that I already have designed I have a design that says it's wine o'clock would that be cute it's wine o'clock I want to do I want to do something I already have in my in my shop y'all I don't want to have to purchase anything Should I put it's wine o'clock on it? It's wine o'clock. And like I said, the next person uh, order 1157, you will get this tumbler. So I guess everyone is suggesting it's wine o'clock. Wine o'clock, okay. So what I'm going to do is just take a look at the instructions. I always look at the instructions. Hello. So we're doing a convection oven with the silicone wrap. So because not all our ovens, uh -huh. transfer, heat tape, convection oven, temperature. So it says I need to heat the convection oven to 400 degrees and we're going to sublimate it it's going to be in the oven for five to six minutes that's a long time to me um and that's really it so 400 degrees for five to six minutes so what i'm going to do is walk you through the process on how to sublimate it so first i'm going to take you to silhouette studio um but let me heat up the convection oven first i can't take you over there because for some reason when i've been down in actually show you my convection oven the um the wi-fi starts messing up so i'm not going to take you over there but i'm going to go heat it up so give me one second You want the design. I sell them as a sublimation transfer or if you wanna purchase this shirt, it's actually in my shop. So we're gonna be using this wrap here with the tumbler. So I'm gonna bring you guys over here and I'm gonna show you how to design Silhouette Studio. So Gabby, are you still here in the live? I'm gonna show you how to download Silhouette Studio. A lot of you have been saying that you can't, you don't know how to, so I'm gonna show you real quick. It says, don't be a salty bitch. Okay, so I'm on Google. You literally just wanna type in Silhouette Studio to Google. And the first thing that should pop up is software downloads. You're going to click it. Now, when you... Hold on. Okay, I just responded, so that way you can read it. So, you're in here. This is the first thing that pops up. It tells you this is a free basic version of the software. Paid upgrades are these. 
So you don't want to upgrade. So the first thing that's going to pop up is the free software. So you're just going to pick your computer. So if you have a Mac, you're going to hit this one. If you have a Windows, you're going to hit that one. And that's it. Super, super easy. Don't go into beta. Don't go into legacy. Just the current version, Mac or Windows. Super easy. So next order, you're welcome, Gabby. So the next order will get this tumbler. So let's go ahead and go into Silhouette Studio so that way you guys can see how to design. So this is a design I was working on earlier. I'm going to delete all this. And I want to show you guys that it is important to measure. So I'm going to do that first before we actually go into Silhouette Studio. Because it's important to measure because you don't want to... You don't want to have to ruin a blank, right? So if it's too big, too small, you don't want to waste paper. You don't want to waste your ink. So if, what if you have a Chrome? So Chromebooks are Windows. It usually is Windows applications, I would think. Can you tell me what's the difference of having a basic? Uh, I don't know. I just use the basic because uh, it's free. I don't like to pay for anything um, if I don't have to. Um, so I... I don't know the difference between the business or the basic. Um, everything that I do, which is a lot with sublimation, I do with the free version. So I couldn't tell you the the difference between the basic or the um, free um, the basic or this business one. I don't I don't know the difference. So first thing we're gonna do is measure because you don't want to have to waste your prints or print out multiple times. Mm, then it's it's probably not the basic version. I don't I don't get I've never put in my credit card. They don't charge me a dime. So this is the wine tumbler. Yeah, I don't know. I just clicked the free version, so I couldn't tell you. You might just want to do some extended research on it. So the reason I always tell you guys to buy one of these here is because of the curve. Do you see how this is curving? Oh, it looks like we just got an order. Now is the person that purchased, got it. You are gonna get the tumbler. Now I have to make sure it's extra good. <laughs> okay. So when it comes to anything like this, right, this has a curved surface. You guys can see that little curve there. So it's good to use one of these fabric measuring tapes so that way you can get a really good placement and then you can also get a good sizing on it of the size of the transfer. So I think I'm going to, I don't wanna go on the curve because it's too much of a curve for the transfer to sublimate on it. And there's some people that know how to do it, but I don't, so I don't wanna mess this up. So I think I'm going to do about a two, almost two and a half, right? Almost two and a half, this is two and a half, so almost two and a half, and then I'm going to change it and go this way now. And I think I'm going to do like a four, four inch. So I'll adjust it, but that's now we know how much room I'm working with, right? Okay. So let's bring it back over here so you guys can see. Okay. Um, there we go. So we're in Silhouette Studio and we said we needed the design to be about two and a half, almost two and a half by like three or four inches, right? So the first thing I like to do is play with my box right here. I like to change the width and the height because that way I can fit my design in the box and I know what I'm printing out. 
So for the width, we said like three inches. I think I'll do like 3.5. And then we'll do like 2.3. So that's how it looks, right? That's how we're gonna make it. So that's the size that we're gonna do. And I think that's good. I don't know, I think I wanna do like a 2.2. Okay, and it does matter, like the size of it matters, guys. So always measure the best that you can. Um, that's why I suggest getting the fabric ones because it does help, especially with curved um, surfaces. So the next thing we're gonna do is go to File and Merge. All my designs are gonna pop up. So now I'm gonna type in Wine and Here's the it's wine o'clock design. And there we go. It says it's wine o'clock somewhere. So this is a kind of weird laying design, but that's fine. So now I'm just going to resize it. And as you see, I'm just holding my cursor there and just resizing it. And that's too big, right? Because now it's out of the box. Do you see? That's too big. It's out of the box. So I'm just going to push it in to where it's in the box, right? So I think we're gonna go with that. I think that should be okay. So now I'm going to put it back on my sheet. Uh-oh, okay. So now I'm gonna put it on my sheet here and I'm going to go to object. If you're wondering how to mirror your image, go to object, mirror, hover over mirror, and then go to flip horizontally. There you go, now it's flipped. So one thing I'm going to do is duplicate it so that way I can use my full sheet of mug paper. So that way, just in case we mess up, we can do another one. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to load my printer and I'm gonna be using the 2720 that's right behind me and we're gonna print it out. Now the paper size I'm going to be using is the four by six. So this is called mug paper and it's really good so that way I didn't have to waste a whole sheet of eight and a half by 11 to make this. I could just use this duplicate the design and then that way I can just cut it in half, right? So really good, really neat. So I'm gonna load the printer. I'm gonna load the printer here and I'm gonna show you guys Probably not. Let's see. I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see it closer. Okay. That looks good. Okay, so now I'm going to go to File and Print. And I'm going to print it out. It's that easy. Super, super easy. Hey there we're doing the designing you said you wanted a um wine tumbler so we are doing the wine tumbler
and it's just printing out so we're gonna let it print out and do its thing you're the best in case no one has told you today oh thank you Okay, there we go. We have the design printed out now. Super, super easy. Right, to print it out. Not hard at all. So now we are going to cut it out and then we're going to tape it on to the cup. But Remember, whenever you're working with ceramics, metals, anything like that, you want to make sure you take your cloth, okay, and then you want to wipe it down. And the reason you want to do that is so that way there's no lint, dust, anything. Because if you have lint, then it's going to be hard to get it off after because it's going to turn blue. So I would suggest just wiping down your substrate. Okay. So now that is all clean. It's ready for sublimation. A lot of people ask, well, don't you have to um, sand it or spray paint it or anything like that? With sublimation, you do not have to. You just wipe it down and you're ready to go. And the great thing is that our oven, before I started, I turned on the oven. So the oven is already ready. So we'll wrap it and get it all prepped and then put it in the oven. And we'll turn on Alexa and have her do the timer. She probably heard me. Okay, she got it. Okay, so here's my substrate, right? So I'm just going to cut around it. Um, you can, but we're doing it in the convection oven today. Um, I get a lot of questions about the convection oven. So we're going to put it in the convection oven today. But you can put it in a mug press. I just prefer the convection oven when it comes to any type of tumbler. So it's one o'clock somewhere. So we have it pressed out and already ready. And this is where it's gonna go on the tumbler. Can you see that? That's where it's gonna go on the tumbler. So if you guys remembered, um, such as when I was doing ceramic mugs the other day, I taught you a little trick. And that is using your tape so how you use it is you want to get a tape dispenser hold the transfer in your hand so this image i used a box yeah it's mirrored <laughs> it's mirrored to me to you it's it's facing the right way um i make the image i used a box and the width was 3.5 and the height was 2.2. So first thing I'm going to do is hold the dispenser like this and just take a little bit of tape and put it right under my transfer. So now I have one tape side. So now I can hold my mug or my glass and I can tape it where I want it to be. Okay, so now I have one side taped. Super easy. 
Then we're going to tape the other side. So you wanna pull this just a little taut and make sure that it's flattened. Take your tape dispenser, hold this against it. There you go. Now you have two sides taped. Then we're gonna take another piece of tape and put it at the top. Put it at the top. Thank God they're metal, Rick. Put one at the top. And then you're going to flip it over so that way it doesn't move. Take another piece of tape and put it at the bottom. Okay? So now it's all taped. That's it. Super, super easy. And I just want to mention before we put it in the convection oven, you can't see the design right now, right? So let's see if we cooked it correctly. You're correct. So the next thing we're gonna do is just take a little piece of butcher paper and put it on top. Now some people at this step, you can actually put it in shrink wrap. If you have shrink wrap, you can put it in your shrink wrap. But I choose not to use shrink wrap. I choose to use the silicone wrap because you can reuse the silicone wrap and shrink wrap is expensive. Um, and I just don't wanna spend the money on shrink wrap. So even though we're gonna be getting it in the shop soon because our tumblers are coming in, uh, we offer that. But at this step, now that your tumbler is already prepped with the transfer on it, now you can actually put it in shrink wrap if you want to. But we are gonna be using a silicone wrap. The silicone wraps are off of Amazon. So one thing I like to do with my silicone wraps is lint roll them just because there's a lot of dust on them. So I'm gonna lint roll it real quick. If you go to Amazon and type in silicone wraps, they will pop up. They're on Amazon, I found it from Amazon. I'll maybe try to see if I can find it again and, and post a link for you guys. But they are on Amazon. Okay, so I'm going to lint roll this just so there's no dust or anything on it. So I'm just gonna lint roll. You see, and there was a lot of dust on it. So if I wouldn't have lint rolled it, all of that dust would have been on the tumbler. And that wouldn't have been cool, right? So just lint roll your silicone wrap if you're using a silicone wrap. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it over and lint roll the back. Lint roll the back. Okay. So now that I've lint rolled it, now I'm going to take my butcher paper and place it on top of the design. So let me go get it real quick. And I just cut a little piece. You don't need a big piece of butcher paper. You just need a small piece. So here's the butcher paper. I'm going to take it over, right? And just add two more pieces of tape. Little pieces. You don't need to use a lot of tape. Not at all. Okay? So it's taped down. I don't know if I like where the tape is placed, so let me retape it. Okay. Okay. There we go.
There we go. So now we have it taped. And just as an extra precaution, I'm going to take my lint roll, um, my microfiber cloth again, and just wipe it down again. Just so there's no dust, nothing on it. Because you don't want lint to be on it. You don't want dust to get on it. Because if there is, it will not come out. So I'm just wiping it again. All right. So now the next step is you're going to add the tumbler. Right, I like to put it at the bottom and you're going to wrap it taut. So pull and wrap, pull and wrap, pull and wrap, pull and wrap. Make it tight, pull and wrap. Pull and wrap. You see, I'm pulling it tight. Okay, now it looks like that. Okay, now it's tight. Add a piece of tape on the outside. Add another piece of tape because you don't want it to come unraveled while it's in the oven. Okay, and there we go. It's wrapped up, it's ready to go. So I said five to six minutes, we'll do five minutes. So I'm gonna go put it in the convection oven. I can't take you over there to show you, but it's at 400 degrees and we're gonna put it in the convection oven for five minutes. So let me go pop it in there and then I'll ask Alexa to turn on. So one second. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. Five minutes, starting now. Five minutes, starting now. So let's see if I know what I'm talking about or not. <laughs> I've only did a couple of wine tumblers. Usually when I buy blanks, um, I always get a sample of each blank and test out the quality before I put it on my website to make sure that they're, you know, good quality. So I've did a couple, but I haven't did a lot. So. All right, question time while we wait this long five minutes. Any questions? <laughs> she set a timer. Oh my God, sorry. What are your questions? Oh my God, everybody's set a timer. Sorry. <laughs> That's funny. Any questions, guys? Any questions that you have? So um, I did want to tell you guys, if you're looking for 100% polyester shirts, we do sell them as blanks. So head over to my shop, and then I would suggest um, purchasing uh, the youth and then the adults. Um, the reason I would suggest doing the youth is because Easter's coming up, and those are going to be big sellers. It doesn't matter if you have a lot of followers or not. Um, they are really good sellers. So if you're looking to do youth shirts, we offer them as blanks in our shop, 100% polyester. And then we do offer adult sizes as well, up to 2X. Um, something... I, I Adriana, um, we have our own supplier. What kind of tumblers do you practice on? Um, I usually, when I because I order in bulk when I order sublimation blanks. So I have a supplier and they send me a sample of each one and then I practice on them to make sure they're good quality. So I really don't practice. I sell more of them as blanks. I really don't make any tumblers. Any tips, any tips to get rid of press lines? Um, so always, as soon as you're done like peeling off the transfer, leave it on the platen and have your lint roller like right there and just start lint rolling because then the press lines will come out on white shirts. Super cool. 
try it. As soon as it's done, lay it. When you're done sublimating, after you pick up the press, after you rip off the transfer, literally just start lint rolling. And it will work. I promise. So we sell the 100% polyester adult shirts. These are adult shirts. And then we also sell the kids. We did a live a couple days ago and we did a little kid shirt. Look at how cute. Perfect for Easter. This is what I'm talking about right here. Parents love Easter, especially for their kids, especially if they have younger kids. So youth shirts are gonna be great to sublimate on and you can put their face, you can put their family's name, you could put whatever you're wanting. Really could, cute idea if you're trying to make sales. I promise you post these on Facebook Marketplace and they're gonna go insane. So we offer the white 100% youth kid shirts and then we also offer the 100% polyester adult shirts. And then we also offer a whole bunch of other blanks. So go check out our site. If you guys use the code TikTok, you can get 10% off your order and we offer Sezzle, which is super great. So we're just waiting, we're just waiting. If you really are trying to sell and this is what you wanna do uh, when it comes to selling, uh, post on Facebook Marketplace, post on Macari, post on Poshmark, post on eBay, um, etc. Post everywhere you can. Instagram, even if you have five followers, it doesn't matter. Even if you have five followers, post, post, post. Because what I know is someone is watching. I know that. Someone is watching. Because I only have about almost 600 followers on Instagram. That's not a lot. But I have almost 30,000 on TikTok. And I have over 200 people that follow me just on Facebook Marketplace. So, oh. Here we go. Let me go get it. Yes, I already. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, God is my idol. I will look it up and then I'll tell you guys. Alexa, stop. Let me go get it real quick. Okay, it's super hot, so I'm gonna have to sit it there for a second. So I'm gonna have to like unwrap it. Um, <laughs> um yeah, God is my idol seven, I promise. I'm gonna look it up and go through my history because if I'm not mistaken, I ordered this like two years ago, so I'm pretty sure that I ordered it from Amazon so I'll go back through my transactions and see if not um, I'm gonna look to see where I can get them when I press some of the t-shirts they come out yellow from the press do you know why it's doing that maybe your temperature isn't correct so do you have a temp gun to to see if your temperature is correct because you could actually be burning the shirts all right let me go unwrap this one second about that y'all my husband was like trying to make jokes with me okay so let's undo this i have to get a a nice clean towel okay because it's hot so if i burn myself it's 
It's all your fault. <laughs> I hope it turned out good. I'm gonna be so upset if it didn't. But if it does turn out bad, just know that I'm a human and it happens. Uh. <laughs> so hot. Okay, this is done. So let me put this over here. Okay. So let's turn it around. I'm so scared. Oh my goodness. Okay. So that's how you know we did a good job. Look, you can actually see the design through the wine tumbler. All right. So let me pull it off. I'm so scared, y'all. I don't know why I'm scared. I guess because I have an audience. It is hot. And I know some of you guys are like, well, why are you taking off if it's hot? Because if you leave it on, it's going to be super hard to take off when it cools down. Okay. Here we are so far. You can see the design. Remember, I made a note earlier saying you can't see the design. Well, now you can see the design. Okay. So let's do it. I'm so scared. You guys aren't hyping me up. You guys are not hyping me up. You're supposed to be like, it's okay. You got it, girl. Nothing. Okay. I got one side. Y'all, I don't want to mess this up and then be embarrassed. Oh, my God. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Thanks. Nice save, y'all. Okay. Y'all, I got nails on, so. You're a pro? No, I'm not. I'm not a pro. Yeah. All right. It's just hot, so I'm trying to take my time because it's super hot. Okay. <gasps> I'm scared. <laughs> it looks good. All right, you ready? Ah. There you go. Let me turn you around so you can see it looks backwards. wipe it down all right let me turn take you off and flip boom here's the transfer and there's a the color so this was really nerve-wracking for me, y'all. Because <laughs> I didn't want to mess it up because I haven't did one in a long time. But I think it turned out super good. And it's starting to cool down now so I can pick it up. Yep. You're so welcome for doing it. Yeah, and you're right. You could actually add, now that you did one design on one side, you can turn it around and then, of course, you want to do this at the same time. But now you can add a name to the back. And guys, let me tell you a little secret. I'm going to tell you a secret. Hold on. Let me shut the door. Hold on. Guys. Yes. These wine tumblers are on our shop. You can get one or you can get six pack. Um, and we offer sizzle. So if you're wanting these wine tumblers, then you can go onto our website and get them. 
Um, now, let me tell you a little secret. These right here, these sell, guys. And I'm not just saying that. And I'm not just saying that because I, I want someone to purchase. You don't have to purchase from me. You can purchase from whoever you want to purchase from. But these sell, and the reason they sell is because of weddings. Weddings. These sell at weddings. The bridesmaid wants hers to say her new last name, and then she wants all of her bridesmaids to have their names on them. And I know you're like, well, COVID's happening. No, weddings are still happening during COVID, guys. These sell. These sell. I know for a fact they sell. These sell. And the great thing about mine are they're, they're really closer. Uh, they're similar to Yetis. So um, if you ever had a Yeti, um, it lasts, you know, 8 up to 12 hours, cold or hot. Yep. Yep, these sell guys. I'm I'm so honest when it comes to that and I'm telling you from my personal experience, these sell when it comes to weddings. Weddings. So, we did the wine tumbler. Tomorrow we're going to be doing the keychains and then I have to work on one more order. I forgot that I had a shirt to do. So I'm going to print out. It's literally this design. I'm going to print this out and then we're going to press it. I can't bleach it today because it's raining. So I'm going to wait until tomorrow to bleach it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and take you guys along with me to press the shirt. So I'm super happy that this came out good. And this will go in your order. Thank you for purchasing. And guys, oh, you're so welcome. Guys, we offer sizzle. So anything that you see in the shop, we offer sizzle. So that is great. And I ship every day. Um, I didn't give a direct date, but the sippies and the skinnies are on their way. Um, she hasn't given me the direct date but i think that the magic mugs are going to be back in stock by next week and then do i do venmo for my website um it's off of etsy i purchased this i don't remember exactly where i purchased it it's from etsy and i purchased it about two years ago so i'm not sure i bought this design like when i first started sublimation um, but I should have skinnies in by next week and then I should have um, magic mugs by next week. So they're all coming. I promise guys they're coming. I wish I like if I knew someone with a private plane or like a big plane I would go to my supplier in China and I would go pick up all this stuff and then I would bring it back so that way you guys could have your blanks i wish i could do that but they're coming by boat i can't help it and then they have to go through customs and then after they come through customs then they get delivered so they're coming they're coming they're coming i promise but All right, so let's go ahead and design this shirt. So I got to get this shirt made. Yeah, I um, use design bundles. They're my number one. The reason I like design bundles is a lot of the sellers that are on Etsy are on design bundles. And they're cheaper on design bundles than they are Etsy. Because design bundles takes less money. So what we're going to do is go ahead and make this shirt that I'm wearing. A customer ordered it and I forgot that I had to make it. You want to move to America? <laughs> okay, so I think the size is a large. So for a large, I'm going to do my 11 by 17 paper. So I'm going to bring you guys over here so that we can see. But first, let me heat up my heat press.
Okay, the heat press is heating up. So now I'm going to show you guys how I put my design and how I size it. Because I get asked this question every single day. So I'm hoping this can help. Okay. Bring this closer. Okay. So I need to do a large shirt. So let me delete this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Google and I'm going to type in vinyl decal size chart. And I know I show this every single day, but I get asked this question every day. So I want to show you guys what I do. And I've remembered this by heart, so I don't go and do this every day, but I'm going to show you guys. So here's a size chart. So as you can see here, this is a sizing chart and it goes, it says heat transfer vinyl. Just don't even read that. Just look at the sizing chart. So this says adult. And since I'm doing a large, it says I need to do a 10 inch. So just me personally, I'm just going to keep that in the back of my mind and say 10 inches. Okay. So now I'm going to head back to Silhouette Studio. And I'm going to use 11 by 17 paper because we got to do at least a 10 inch, right? So we're going to be using the 15,000. And then I'm going to go to paper size and I'm going to go to 11 by 17. And now I have my 11 by 17 piece of paper, right? So then now I'm going to upload the file and it's don't be a salty bitch that's the shirt we're making don't be oh that didn't pull it up okay let's see salty salty bitch here we go so here's the design and it's loading all right here's the design and we need to size it so that way it fits a large shirt, which is about 10 to 10 and a half inches. So over here, I have my box. You guys, I live by this box. And the only reason I say suggest to use the box is when you're printing sublimation transfers, you want to make sure that you're giving them the, the exact size that they asked for. So that's why I use the box. Okay. So now, obviously, this design is not going to fit in the box. So I need to resize it so it fits in this box. So we're just going to take one end and just drag it down until it fits in the box. Boom. Now it fits in the box. And here we go. So well, I don't want to waste this paper. Um, so I'm going to mirror it, of course. And then let's see if I can rotate it. Um, it fits like that. You got your package? Yay, I can't wait to see what you make. And then I can't double it. So what I'm going to do is just resize it. Um, rotate back. I'm going to resize it so that way I can give these out as freebies. And I only give vulgar designs to people that order vulgar designs. I don't just throw them in to someone that ordered like Jesus Christ or something like that. So I only give like designs like this to people that order designs like this. Right. So I just want to make sure that this is fine. All right. It looks good to me. So this is how you make use of your paper. You don't want to just print it out. Of course, you can always put it back in if it's small. But this is how I use my paper. I don't like to waste anything. So now let's head over to the 15,000. So I can show you how I load it and how we get it set up. Okay. You can resize based on locking the aspects and then 
yeah i um the only reason i don't do it like that is like i said i have customers that like specific sizing um like weird sizing i had someone do like a 2.2 by like a 6.3 so I use the box to make sure I'm giving them exactly what they're asking for. So that's my way of doing it. Okay, so here is the 15,000. I know I'm gonna get questions on it. So the 15,000 is $600. The 2720, this one right here, the 2720 is $200. The 2720 prints eight and a half by 14, and the 15,000 prints up to 13 by 19. Okay, so we're gonna be using 11 by 17 paper. When printed, how do you store, and is it good to store the print for a while? So you can store your prints, um, and I think I showed this a while back, but let me go get a box and show you what I store mine in, if I store them. Okay, so this box I got from Michaels. You can get this box and let me see the size. It's a 12 inch by 12 inch. So you can store your prints in here and you can store your prints up to a year. Um, and you can just print out as many as you need and just put them in this box. And the reason you wanna put them in this box is so that way no lint or dust gets on the print. So you can store them as long as you need to. Just make sure no lint or dust gets on them and you should be fine. Okay. So I know I'm gonna get asked what paper I use. So this is the paper that I use. And I'm using size 11 by 17. Okay. So I'm going to take out a sheet. And for those of you who are joining, hello. We are making this shirt that I'm wearing. We're not going to be bleaching today. We're just going to sublimate on it. Okay. A lot of you ask the sizing for the printer. So I just wanted to show you that there's so many sizes that you can print. I just use the common ones. And let me show you. So this is all the paper sizes. A4 letter, eight and a half by 13, eight and a half by 14, 11 by 17, seven and one fourth by 10 and a half, eight by 10, five by seven, four by six. 11 by 14, Super B is 13 by 19. You can literally even add, like if you go to user defined, you can make your own dimensions. So it's super cool. But these are all the papers that you could use possibly. So I'm gonna go to 11 by 17, cause that's the paper we're using. If it'll do it. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to head back to the computer and hit print and I'm gonna watch you guys print it out. The cost on the paper, it just depends what size you're getting, but it is the most expensive kind. Okay. So now it's printing out.
What printer is this? This is the 15,000. Hey there. So I just wanted to show you guys while this is printing out. Um, this color right here is a part of the sublimation t-shirt starter kit. So I have this color, this nice blue for spring, and then I also have a nice pink. So the sublimation t-shirt starter kits, they're $30. You get four sublimation transfers and you get three shirts. So two are 100% polyester and one is a bleachable shirt just like this. And we offer sezzle. And we're making the shirt, for those of you who are joining, we are making the shirt that I'm wearing. And I have the blank here. And we're gonna be making the shirt. I don't like these colors. So dark. And it's printing out, printing out, printing out. Any questions before we press the shirt? It's peachtreemarketco.com. And don't forget to use your code TikTok so that way you can get 10% off your order. And we have all sizes, they're already made. This is the pink. And then we have the blues. These are perfect for spring and summer's coming up too, guys. So these are really good colors for them. No, the image does not bleach. After I bleach, I do, um, so, I sublimate first and then I bleach and then after that I put it in a rinse cycle but if you don't have a washer or dryer what you can do is just um, use a um, sink or your bathtub and then rinse it out with cold water and then let it hang dry hey there so we have the sublimation t-shirt starter kits available you get 200% polyester shirts and then you get one bleachable shirt just like the one I'm wearing and we have pink and blue and some greens and some oranges. So we have really, really cute colors going on right now. And they're all ready to ship. Yes, they are all ready to ship. These are already made, prepackaged. We have them already. You get four full-size transfers. You get three shirts, two 100% polyester, and then one bleachable shirt, just like the one I'm wearing. And you get to um, pick the different shirts and designs that you want to do. So we have pink and blue. We have green, orange, all nice colors. And the reason I switched up the colors is blue and pink, I think, look good with Easter. So I thought that since St. Patrick's Day just ended, I, well, St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow, but no one is ordering St. Patrick's Day stuff right now, right? But a month ago when you guys were ordering the t-shirt starter kits, I had green shirts in there so that way you can make your St. Patrick's Day shirts. And so now that Easter's coming up, I added pink shirts and blue shirts because I thought it would be a cool idea. Do you have the USPS label machine and is it, shipper, is it cheaper to do it yourself? Do you spray with peroxide? I do not spray with peroxide. What are the codes you mentioned for your shop if you can repeat? It's TikTok. So T-I-K-T-O. T O K and you get 10% off shipping super fast. I bought one of your kids. Oh, thank you. How did you like the kit? Did you like the instructions and everything that we included for you? Yes, please check out the shop. Um, do you use the USPS label machine? Um, I have my own printer for labels and I just print them from Shopify. Okay, so here's our print. As you can see, here's the print. And then if you guys order, then you guys will get like a freebie. But the only way I include stuff like this is if you order something that has something like that. So if you ordered like 
Jesus stuff, like, because I order, like, I have Jesus prints or, like, kid prints. If you order kid prints and stuff like that, I'm not going to send you one of these. But if you, if you buy, like, stuff like this, then I will throw them in as freebies. Um, I can go over my printer in just a little bit. Yep, it's mirrored. Remember, guys, it's the camera, so it is mirrored. It's going to be facing you the correct way, and it's facing me the opposite. So, it is mirrored. We did go through that in silhouette. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be doing... The next thing we're going to be doing is pressing the shirt. So I already have my heat press heated up to 400 degrees. And we're going to head over there to go press the shirt. So I have the shirt here. Here's the shirt. This is the color. And I'm going to head over there so you guys can see. I'm going to bring the print with me. And we're going to go over to my press. And that's what I didn't want to happen, but it happened anyway. Girl, I come to TikTok, TikTok at this time every day since I discover you because you answer all questions. Yes, I really do try to. I know a lot of people don't like to answer questions, but I do. Okay. So I have my shirt ready. And for those of you who have joined my live, I like for you guys to be interactive with me. So I want to know what is the first thing that you do when you press a shirt? Hello. You are so welcome. You can use the easy press. Hey there, guys. Hey there, everyone. So we, for everyone that's joining, we are making the shirt that I'm wearing right now. It is available in my shop if you want one. Yes, so you guys are awesome. First thing you want to do is you want to lay out your shirt and you want to lint roll, lint roll, lint roll. But... I like to add the butcher paper first in between the shirt. Remember, even though it's a colored shirt, you always want to make sure that you add a piece of butcher paper inside. Yay, go purchase. You get 10% off if you use the code TikTok. And for someone that asked about the Eat Cricut Easy Press, I have one and I started with this. So I always tell like everyone that asks me for advice, don't go purchase this if you can't afford it yet, okay? Wait till you get profit in. Don't go spend all your money on big fancy equipment if you can't afford it. Don't put yourself in debt because it's gonna take a lot for you to sell for you to get out to make profit, right? So go and do the things that you can do. And if you already have a Cricut Easy Press, start off with that. If you guys are interested, you can actually scroll all the way down to the bottom of my TikTok of when I first started TikTok and I was using my Cricut Easy Press. So there's no need to buy one yet if you can't afford it. If you can, go get one. They're great. But if you can't, use what you have. There's no reason to purchase new big things if you don't have the means to do so yet. Save as much money as you can because sublimation is expensive. Blanks are expensive. All right. So the first thing I like to do is all of you are right. You do want a lint roll. You do want a lint roll. But I like to add in a piece of butcher paper first. Um, so that way the print doesn't bleed to the back. I have a Starcraft 15 by 15 heat press. So I'm gonna get my butcher paper. And I'm gonna add, to make an image how big is on your shirt, do you only use one sheet? Yep, yeah, we only use one sheet. So this is an 11 by 17, and this is a 10 and a half inch print. 
Um, I use my 15,000 to make bigger prints. So I have both. I have the 2720 and then I have the 15,000. The 15,000 prints up to 13 by 19. So what we're gonna do is add our butcher paper to the inside of the shirt. Put your papers on the inside. Okay. Put your papers in. And now all of you that said lint roll is right. Now, since it's not a white shirt, you don't have to go crazy with the lint roll, but you do want to make sure that you lint roll at least twice to make sure there's no lint, especially when you go to bleach. As you can see, the bleach in my shirt, it has no little black specks around it or blue specks. It's because I lint rolled, okay? So if there was still a piece of lint there and I didn't get it when it was pressed, then when I bleached it, that little piece would show up, right? So always make sure you lint roll. So we have lint rolled. What's next? You guys tell me. What's next, y'all? Image and tape, image and tape. Yep. All right, so next I'm going to take my image. I do not pre-press. I do not pre-press. Yep, lay the image down and tape. I do not pre-press. And the reason why is because once you pre-press, you have to wait for that shirt to cool down at least a little bit so that way you can press the actual image. Because if this was a white shirt and it was still hot and I laid this image on there while it was still hot, it could ghost and it could shift. So I don't pre-press my images, but you definitely can if you like to. So you are correct. I like to get the image next and I fold it in half, but I don't make a crease all the way through the print. You see, it's still open. It's just creased at the top and I'm gonna add a little indentation, right? And now when you open it back up, there's a little indentation there. And so that way I know this is the middle of the print and now I'm gonna line it up correctly on my heat press. So that way I get the perfect middle. Next, add a little piece of tape. Add a little piece of tape. Now, the last step. Last step, guys. Very important step. You're so welcome. Next step, anybody? Yes, put your paper. You're gonna add a piece of butcher paper. We're gonna add it to the top of the print. And for those of you who are asking, I always press my shirts at 400 degrees for 60 seconds unless um, it states otherwise. So I always press at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. So now we're gonna press. There we go.
and with the sublimation t-shirt starter kits you can actually make a shirt just like this we offer 200 percent polyester shirts and then one bleachable shirt just like this one you get four big prints like the ones that i just showed um and all of it is 30 bucks and we ship the same day or the next day so all of it's ready prepared um, as soon as you order we pack them or the next day we pack them so we are really good about shipping so if you guys are interested in making bleach shirts or making sublimation shirts, then definitely head over to our website. It's Peachtree Market Co. And you get 10% off your order with the word TikTok. Thank you so much. I've already shipped to Ghana. I have shipped to Ghana multiple times, actually. All right. We're all ready. Okay. At first, I thought you said 200% Paul, and I was like, what? No, 200% poly shirts. Okay, so I'm going to show you why we use butcher paper. Do you see? Oh, um, Candy's Custom Creations. We already did a bleach shirt, actually, a couple days ago. If you head over to my Facebook page, it's already up on the Facebook page. Yes, I actually ship to the UK as well. We ship all internationally. You just pay for shipping. So, um, do you guys see why we use butcher paper? That's why we use butcher paper. If not, that would have bled through to my top platen on my heat press. So, you always want to use butcher paper. And that's why. Okay. So, now, let's turn you around and peel it off together. Okay. And that's without bleach, guys. That is without bleach. Um, Tatiana, I got it from Sam's Club and it was $20. Total like $22. This is without bleach, and this is the print. So print. How do you guys like it? Yes, it is sublimation. And we're going to, I don't know if I can bleach it because it's raining outside. I probably could still, though. Yep, and then it's going to turn out looking like this. And there it is. So this is non-bleached and bleached. Non-bleached and bleached. The colors pop. And then I'm going to show you why we use the butcher paper on the inside of the shirt. Can you guys see that? It would have it would have went to the back of the shirt. So um, I'm gonna turn off the heat press. Um, Tatiana, yes, I do bleach um, after. It does not ruin the image. Um, the reason why I bleach after is just because when I have a lot of bleach shirts to do, I just like to press, 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 lay them all out, and then bleach them all at once. I don't like to do it the opposite way. You can do it the opposite if you opposite way if you want to. If you go back and look at my TikToks, I have shown both ways. Um, you can take the shirt out, bleach it, and then um, sublimate on it after you wash it and dry it. But personally, I don't like to do that. And another reason why is because you see, like, this is, like, kind of matching the size of the print. If I didn't already sublimate, I wouldn't have known where to bleach right so i would have probably made it too small or too big do you get what i mean like that circle that bleach circle i wouldn't have known where to bleach so you're kind of guessing so i don't like to do that i like to make sure that it's correct i do not use subspray and this was the print before right and then here's the print after
And here's the print after. I do not use peroxide. In Georgia, the, the thing is, is like if you live where it's sunny, then you're good to go. Because in Georgia, we have a lot of sunny weather. And um, I go out and put the bleach on it. If you go and look at the um, live I did and I posted it to my Facebook group, um, you guys can see how quickly the bleach changed. So as soon as it changes to white, I put it in the washer on a rinse cycle in cold water and then put it in the dryer. I will go get the starter kit. Yay, go get the starter kit. Yes, yes. What paper do you use? I use Tex Print R. Yeah, it's just regular bleach. Regular bleach, Clorox bleach. I just buy the little bottles from Dollar Tree. <laughs> um, I mean, like I said, I'm in the direct sunlight. So it doesn't take long to, I mean, at least unless you oversaturate your shirt, it doesn't take long for the bleach to dry in the direct sun. So then I also just pop it in the washer. Do you have the print on your website? I do. I sure do. How do you get the print so big? So I um, have the 15,000. So we'll go back over there and um, I'll explain the differences between the printer. What bleach you said you use? Clorox bleach. That's the only bleach I know. You're 45 minutes from Brunswick. I've never heard of Brunswick. Well, I've heard of it, but I don't know where it is. But I'm in Woodstock, if you know where that is. Um, I only use my prints one time. But you could use this print again. But this is the print. So look, I printed out a couple this is the size of, this is the color of the first print, and this is not pressed, and this is pressed. So if I pressed it again, it would look cute, but it would just be faded. So that's why I don't use mine multiple times. I do not use peroxide. How much cotton and poly? 50-50. Uh, yeah. It's not bleached. Um, they are on their way, so I can't give you a direct date. The skinnies, the 20-ounce skinnies, will be here sometime next week. Okay, I bought the 2720. I just don't think it's going to be big enough. What other printer did you suggest? I'm going to take you guys back over there in just one second. Um, so we sell them as blanks, uh, Bobby Caitlin. We sell them as blanks right now in our sublimation t-shirt starter kit, so I can't let you know where we get them from. But if you're interested in trying bleaching, then I would suggest getting the starter kit. Do you have a have to have a patent for your name? You don't have to have a patent. Um, you would definitely want to get a trademark, um, but you don't have to have one. Bless you being so kind and answering all of our questions. You're so welcome. And I come on on live every single day. Um, I made it a point to go on live every single day because you guys ask questions and I want to be able to help. Um, and another reason I wanted to help is because when I first started a couple years ago, um, I really got a lot of back, I wouldn't say backlash, but I got a lot of hate. No one helped me. No one taught me anything. I taught myself everything I'm showing you. Everything. From what to buy, from what to get. I Googled, I YouTubed a hundred things and no one would help me, right? Because a couple years ago, sublimation was kind of new. It, it's been around for a really long time, but sublimation was kind of coming back on the rise a couple years ago when I first jumped on, on that train. And now it's everyone wants to do it. So I felt like I can make a Facebook group to help you guys. I can do one-on-one -on -one calls with you guys. I literally, tell me another TikToker that goes through all the way down to the last video and go through all your comments i do because i want to help you so i do that because no one helped me um and i just want to be able to help and it it kind of gets me emotional because i just feel like sometimes people are so cruel and so mean and um i don't think it's fair so i just like to help as much as i can um, so that way you guys can have a successful business 
because when I first started, I had no idea what I was doing. And it took a lot of trial and tribulation to get to where I'm at. So I'm so thankful for you guys to even be on here and like interact with me. Um, but that's why I do it because no one helped me. So I just want to help you guys to the best that I can, right? You're so welcome. Um, same girl until I came across your page. Oh, thank you. I have a quick question. Do you have to order from your pictures or can you get them from Facebook? Um, so, unfortunately, you cannot share images. So, this image here, you need to buy this from the designer if you want to use this design. If you see someone just giving it out for free, you will get in trouble for that. I know you might not think right now it's all fun, but if you don't give the designer the credit then you will it will come back to you i promise you it will come back to you so just do the right thing and just buy the design it's like four dollars and half of the designers they offer sezzle so you can order like a hundred dollars worth of designs and pay like little monthly installments so just order the designs hey there i use a sub but i don't like the effect i don't like website um i don't like uh, a sub either i use text printer the website for me is peachtreemarketco.com. I know a lot about other things, but I've been doing for years on words on mouth, but so new to sublimation. Well, I'm happy you're here. And you give me the courage to do start video and venture officially. Good. I really do appreciate all the help. You're so welcome. Thank you. Okay, I bought the 2720. I don't think it's going to be big enough. I'm going to go over there. Um, sippy cups and everything. Um, I should have tumblers by next week. Um, and then magic mugs will be in stock next week. And then when it comes to sippy cups, baby bottles, that should be in in the next coming weeks after. So my suppliers in China, they're on the boat coming here. Do you know where it's a good place to get my trademark? I would Google it. I really don't. I couldn't tell you a good one. You will continue to receive blessings because you're such a blessing to so many people. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That means a lot. Thank you. I appreciate that. You're so welcome. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everyone that's giving me good positive feedback. Thank you so much. So how do you? Yeah, buy off Etsy. So, so what I mean by that is this designer that made this, she actually drew everything that you see on my shirt. So to give her credit, go and purchase directly from her. Don't just go Google it and try to snip it and screenshot it and use it. Just buy the artwork. There's no reason to cheap her off, right? She worked hard on this design. As a crafter or business owner, I feel like we all should help each other out. Yes, I do feel like that. I do feel like that only to a certain extent. When you are asking like personal information and et cetera, that becomes excessive, you know? So just do your research first. And then if you really, really can't find the answer, then reach out. But I'm pretty sure most of the time when someone asks you a question, you can find it on the internet. But you know, if you can't find it on the internet, then ask. Yeah, thank you. I, I listen, oh, thank you so much. Um. Yeah, I listen. When I started out, I watched probably like a hundred videos, a hundred. I'm sorry, like hundreds of hours of YouTube. How do I get my print so vibrant? I use Cosmos Ink, and I swear by it. So I'm pretty sure that is why my colors are so great. I'm so happy that you ordered your printer, Karina. Do you know where is there a good place to get my trademark? Okay, I already answered that. I just want to make sure I'm answering all your questions, y'all. Okay, so someone asked where I get the print. 
Yes, Cosmos ink is the best ink. Okay. So, I hope you guys have a little pen and pad. So, that way I can share with you guys about the printers. And then, after this, I'm going to get off. I'll answer your questions, and then I'm going to get off because i got to cook dinner. Um, where you get your heat press, it is from Brilliant Vinyl. That's where I bought it from. But it's called Starcraft 15 by 15. Do you only use bleach for shirts or do you spray something else? No, I just use bleach. 100% bleach. Clorox bleach. Okay. How do you start in TikTok? I did. Um, I just started posting things I like, right? I just post things I like. I don't, I don't follow trends. I just do what I like. I'm confident in my work and I'm confident in what I teach and I'm confident in what I do. So I just post things that I like. And that's how you get started. I'm not, I'm not going to forget about the printer. I'm, I promise. I'm going to talk about these printers here and then I'll go over to the printer there. Okay. So this is the 2720. Okay. The 2720 is $200. Okay. It only prints eight and a half by 11 or eight and a half by 14. So this printer only prints eight and a half by 14 as the largest. It doesn't print wider, it prints longer, okay? So if you're looking to do kids clothes, koozies, phone cases, tumblers, mugs, small trinket items, coasters, um, even small, medium, or large shirts, this is a good printer, okay? And the reason I say it stops there is because if you want it to do a 3X, you need at least an 11 by 11 inch. But this printer doesn't print 11 by 11, right? It only prints eight and a half. So what you would have to do is print it out and split the image and then press it and tape it together and all of that. So if you are willing to do that and you want a sublimation printer, the 2720 is a good option. But I would suggest if you're wanting to offer 3X and 4X and bigger items like this print, right, on my shirt, it's big, I would suggest getting the 15,000. The 15,000 prints up to 13 by 19. So this is the 13 by 19 paper. So imagine this width on a 3X shirt. It looks amazing, right? So the 13 by 19, it does everything this one does, but it's just a larger format, okay? So you can do 3X, you can do 4X, you can even probably do a 5X. You can do whatever you're needing to do with this printer. So 2720, I would recommend if you only want to do mugs or tumblers or trinkets, phone cases, kids' clothes, smaller items. And if you're wanting to offer 3X, 4X and not have to piece together things, then I would suggest getting the 15000 All right. What other option is the 15000 is sold out everywhere? Okay. So let me go over that because it's not sold out. You are looking online, right? You're going to Office Max, Office Depot, Target.com. You have to go in the store. And I know that sounds crazy, but I promise you, you will find a 15000 So I'm going to tell you the story. I got this printer shipped to me from Connecticut. Okay? So I called the Staples here in Georgia, and I said, hey, do you have the 15000 They said no. I said, well, can you find a store near you? that has the 15,000. They said there's none in Georgia. I said, okay, well, how about this? Can you try Connecticut? And the reason I picked Connecticut is because we have family in Connecticut. So I was like, can you find a store in Connecticut that has one? And he said, yeah, they actually have a lot up there. Uh, so I called the store in Connecticut and they shipped my printer to Georgia from Connecticut. And that was it. And that's how I got my printer. 
So if you're going online and saying it's sold out, it's sold out, it's sold out, it is not sold out. You have to go in the store, call your Staples, call your Office Depot, call your Office Max, call Target, call them. Because what they can do is see every single store on their screen and tell you which one actually has it in the store. And then you'll call that store and say, hey, can you reserve it? for an hour, I'm coming right now, and they will. Or you can call a different state and say, hey, do you have this printer? And they say, yes, have them ship it to you. So they are not sold out. I promise they're not sold out. Where did you buy yours? Okay, so yeah, I just explained that. Yep, 2720 is fine to start with. And you need the software. I use Silhouette Studio. It is a free software. Is the 7720 Epson a good to convert? I don't use cartridges, so I would not suggest it. Can I show you the bottle I use? Um, I can, but it's in another room. So I'll have to go get it. Questions on the printers. Questions on the printers. Yes, this is 50-50. And then in the sublimation t-shirt starter kits, let me get one. So we offer sizes all the way to 2X. And this is just an example, but... You get 200% polyester shirts that are white. And then you also get one bleachable shirt just like this one. So you'll sublimate on it and then bleach it. Or you can bleach it and then sublimate. Either way. And we give you instructions on how to sublimate and how to bleach. And this is another color we offer too. So blue, we offer pink, we offer purple, um, orange, and green. And the sublimation t-shirt starter kits are $30. They're in stock right now. And you get four sublimation prints. You also get the shirts that come with it. And it's $30. So along with the 200% polyester shirts, you get one bleachable shirt. Just like this one. And then let me show you what else you get. you get four sublimation transfers. And the reason I include four sublimation transfers is so that way you can practice your least favorite and then use the rest. So this is one of the transfers that you could get with your uh, starter kit. It's $30. The colors are amazing. I love this little mermaid, y'all. She's so cute. Okay. Another print you get. Be kind. And I always change up the prints. So, like, since it's Easter and spring, I'm making everything, like, Easter, spring, summery right now. And you always get the most popular designs in my shop. Happy Easter perfect for Easter right and then I have this one just be yourself so with the sublimation t-shirt starter kit you get 200% polyester shirts one bleachable colored shirt like the one I'm wearing and then four sublimation transfers only $30 and we offer sezzle so let me go back through and answer your questions. Thank you so much. Before the 15,000, 7710 and were the go-to printers to convert. Yes, but that is until Epson figured out what people were doing and then they installed. Um, I saw somewhere else that they did a update 
and a lot of people would they would you literally couldn't use your printer until you updated it and then when you updated it your uh cartridges would clog and all that stuff so the eco tanks are just a easier way to not deal with any of that and syringes and it's just much easier Oh, and another question. Do you have the scale for the package? Um, I've already uh, weighed everything. I do have a scale. I purchased it on Amazon. You can just find one on Amazon. But I've already um, weighed everything in my shop. So whenever you order, it's the correct weight. The 7210 and the 7220 or whatever it's called, those are great printers. I'm not knocking them. They're just really hard to find now, especially since the eco tanks have come out. I use um, BJ's Noblin. I use Text Print R paper and Cosmos Ink. Anything that I show you guys or that I use is in the link in my bio. Okay. It works perfect. You can't update software. Right. And I understand you can't update software and it could it could be a great printer, but my some of my closest friends have said they don't like it because their printer has stopped working because of the updates and the firmware and etc. and they've had a lot of trouble with theirs. So that's why I went with the Eco Tank. But that's just my suggestion in my opinion. I'm not saying it's wrong or it's bad, um but that's just my suggestion. And I didn't want to have to deal with syringes or any of that stuff that's just my opinion okay any other questions concerns anything like that for those of you who are just now joining we did do a wine tumbler at the beginning of the live we did a wine tumbler if you guys are interested in learning how to do it, um, I download my videos from live and I post them to my Facebook group. So if you're interested, um, I did change the name. It's Peachtree Market Co. So head over to Facebook and join our Facebook group. Um, I have the 2720 and then I have the 15,000. The 15,000. I need to get the wine blanks. Yes, get the wine blanks. You can offer, you can just buy one or you can buy a six pack. So it just depends on what you guys want, but we offer sizzle for anything. Yes, I can explain. Let me get it. So we are, we just um, finished doing a shirt and then we just did a wine tumbler. But I was explaining to everyone about the sublimation t-shirt starter kits. So you get one bleachable shirt just like this one you get 200 percent polyester shirts and four sublimation transfers for 30 dollars and we offer sezzle the wine blanks are on the site so if you're wanting your wine blanks they are on the site when you order the wine blanks you get your sleeve with the wine blank and the box so you get everything that i see the Facebook group group name is my name, Peachtree Market Co. If you head to the link in my bio, you can click it, and then you'll be taken right there. You're so welcome. So, um, we offer the sublimation t-shirt starter kits. You get one bleachable colored shirt, and then two 100% polyester white shirts, and four sublimation transfers for $30. We offer sezzle. And if you're not interested in the sublimation t-shirt starter kit, we do offer just the plain 100% polyester shirts and we offer them in kid sizes and adult sizes. So you guys can um, order just one shirt if you just want to practice or just plain white shirts. And this is a kid shirt that we did on live a couple days ago. And this is 100% polyester. It's a kid shirt. These are going to sell super good. Um, it's pink and blue. So 
So these are some kids shirts that we have. These are 100% polyester. They'll come white with not the print on it. And you can order these for kids that you have, especially as um, gift baskets for Easter. Really good. Or you can get the adult size shirts if you don't want the sublimation t-shirt starter kit. You can get the adult sizes. All right. So the last question, you guys can um, type questions if you need them. But I'm going to answer, you're so welcome. So I'm going to answer where I get my shipping done at. That was a question that was asked. So this is my Dymo. This is a label printer. It's inkless, so you don't have to use ink. Yes, we do offer free shipping on orders over $75. And we offer Sezzle. So if you if you get your cart to 70 over $75 and then you check out with Sezzle, you don't pay all of that up front and you still get free shipping. So this is the shipping printer. It's the Dymo Label Writer 4XL. This was about $300, but there is another shipping label printer on Amazon. It's called the Rolo, and you can use that as well. And what you do is when you have Etsy or Shopify, you click Buy Shipping Label, and then it prints directly to your label printer. And that's it. And so let me just show you how one comes out. That's a label. It's just a blank label. Right? So when you print it something, it would come out on the label. So that's how I print my labels. Um, and before we took your suggestion and called Staples and they have the 15000 in stock, what I tell you? Yes! I told you! I told you! I knew it! I told you so how do you know the cost of the shipping it will tell you on shopify or etsy so you set your uh, price for shipping um for certain items so like obviously this is going to be like a pound right this shirt is only going to be like six ounces so you have to weigh your stuff and then put that into the system of what you're when you're creating a listing and then when they buy it it gives them a shipping price I knew it. I knew you would find a printer. Oh my God, I'm so happy for you. Just please make sure when you get the printer to add the sub ink instead of the regular ink. Any more questions? Questions, questions, questions? Any more questions? I got about 20 more. Yes, good. Okay, I just want to make sure. So many people tell me all the time. They message me and say, oh, I added the regular ink that came with it. And I'm like, no, why did you do that? <laughs> I'm going to buy the label printer. Good. So here's a fun little tip too, guys. When you get a printer and it's the Eco Tank, it comes with sub. It doesn't come with sublimation ink. It comes with regular ink and it looks like this. What you can do is actually take a picture of it and post it on Macari. You can post it on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, and someone will buy it. And you can list it for $50, and I bet you someone would buy it. I've sold all of mine. I haven't sold this one yet because I just got another um, pack. But um, I haven't sold this yet. But you could sell it for like 50 bucks. So sell it and then spend it on blanks. <laughs> So if you want to change your ink, you have to wait till the ink level is very, very low and then put the ink on top. So if you're using non-Cosmos ink right now, wait till it gets super low and then add the ink on top. What kind of computer do you use? I use a MacBook Pro. I really want a new printer. I mean, a new um, computer. Oh my God, I want one so bad. But it's like $2,000 and yeah. But my birthday's coming up, so hopefully I get it for my birthday. I bought the Hippo brand ink. Is Cosmos much better? Yes. 
I just got on and I missed everything. Don't, um, it's Connie. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, what I'm going to do is download the video and post it on live, um, on my Facebook page. So you can, uh, take a look back at the live. But what we did today, Connie, was a wine tumbler and then a shirt. Yeah, you can just sell it. I sold mine for 50 because that's what they were going for in my area. So I just sold it for 50 Um, and... And bear with me, y'all. Um, the videos, it takes a long time to download and then a long time to upload to Facebook. So just give it a day or so because it does take a long time. So I wanted to do two things before I got off live. Um, hi, question. Do you get rid of the burnt around the sublimation image on the shirt? I don't know. I think you would have to spray peroxide. I'm not sure. I've never burned a shirt, so I'm not sure. Okay. So last thing. Yeah, I think it's peroxide. I don't know. I've never burned a shirt. So the last thing. Oh, and also we offer these notebooks as blanks. So if you want to sublimate on a notebook, I got you. Okay, the last thing I wanted to do is I wanted to ask you guys ideas of things that you're wanting me to sell as blanks in the shop. I have my own supplier for sublimation blanks, and I wanted to know some of the things that you guys are looking for and that you guys want to purchase. So we, you guys were asking for the 100% poly shirts. Those are on the website now. But um, I think I got a request for phone cases. Someone was asking about phone cases. So what size is for phone cases? iPhones only or Samsung or what sizes? And then I think someone asked for the license plates. Um, of course, all of the tumblers. And then some, so iPhones, okay. Inhaler blanks. I can take a look into that. Let me write it down. Um, 11 Pro and the 12 Series. 11 Pro and 12 Series. SS Max. Okay, and then the license plates. Yes, I do have keychains. Tatiana, I have been trying to get rid of these keychains for a long time. Mask. Okay. Mask. Um, hand sanitizers. Pop sockets. And they're double-sided and they come with the jump in the, um, hoop. Yeah, all the tumblers are coming back in stock. We, we already ordered them, but the thing is, as soon as we put them in stock, they sell out every time. So we're just waiting on our restock. We should get tumblers and magic mugs in next week. Pop sockets. So pop sockets is a good one. What else? Someone said air fresheners. Wristlets. Okay. So like the Apple Watch bands. Air fresheners. Someone asked for pillowcases. The panels and the non-panels. So panels and non-panels and then blankets with the panels. Okay. Magic magic mugs are mugs that are black, but when they're heated, they turn white. So you can sublimate on them. They're super cool. Um, the wine tumblers, you can just buy one or you can just buy six. It just depends on what you're looking for. Wristlets. So back to the wristlets. Are you meaning like iPhone? I mean, I Apple Watches bands? Apple Watch bands. What else? Because I'm going, as soon as I get off light, uh, live with you guys, I'm going to go cook dinner. But while I'm cooking dinner, I'm going to go and call my supplier and talk to them and see what I can get. Key fob. Key fob wristlets. 
Okay, I'll look it up. Key fob. The panel blankets too. So Apple Watch keychain wristlets. Oh, you mean like the bangle ones? Okay. Key fob, keychain, wristlets. Okay. Apple Watch bands, blankets, blankets, blankets. Okay, I got blankets. What else? So the so for the pillowcases, non-panel and panel, and then for blankets, panel and non-panel. Bangles, bracelets, puzzles. Okay, puzzles. I don't have any puzzles on the website. Hats. Okay. Dog tags. Okay. Like the dog tags for the army or the dog tags for dogs? Because there's two different ones. Dog collar and leashes. Both. Okay. I'll do for both. Both. Okay. Some of this stuff, I, I think that they already have, my supplier has, so I can get them in, which is fine. Um, but some of the things, like the phone cases and stuff, I gotta talk to my supplier about. What else? What is it that you're looking for? Someone said air fresheners. Air fresheners. Is that a, a need for you guys? Air fresheners. Someone asked for garden flags. Garden flags, is that a thing? I'll write it down. Aw, oh, thank you. Kids cups are already coming in. We got sippy cups and baby bottles coming in. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I want to know what you guys want. So that's why I'm asking. Because <laughs> we want to add as many blanks as we can. So I want to make sure that we're getting the things that you guys want. I'm not going to add... A, you know, a wallet. Garden flags. Is garden flags a no or a yes? I'll just add it. Wallets. What about those um mirrors? Earrings. Sublimation earrings. The MDF kind or the fabric kind? And uh, what about the mirrors? The mirrors that open up and you can put the name, the mirrors. Hydro bottles. Okay. It would have to be for next order for tumblers. We've already ordered all of our tumblers, but that could be for next thing. I'm gonna ask them to send me a sample. What else guys? Yeah, permanent vinyl will work on a jar. Um, you know, like, it's like the, I think it's like for blush or something, like a case, but it's a circle and you open it up and on the top part, there's a little, there's a little circle and you can sublimate on that. Okay, so... So far, I got phone cases, license plates, mask, hand sanitizers, pop sockets, air fresheners, pillowcases with panels and non-panels, blankets with panels and non-panels, Apple watch bands, key fobs, key wristlets, puzzles, hats, dog tags for the army and for the dogs, dog collars, leashes, Garden flags, wallets, earrings, and and the makeup mirror. What about chapstick holders? Chapstick holders? <laughs> chapstick holders? Okay.
The scarves oh, for, for dogs? Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm happy I can get your feedback on that. So, I will go um, and talk to my supplier about the things that we can get and the pricing. And then I should come on tomorrow and let you guys know. Any more questions before I leave? Any more questions? I am headed off live so I can go cook dinner. Teddy bears. Any more questions before I leave? You're welcome. Any more questions before I head off? If you guys are interested in re-watching the live, if you're just joining, we, we did a shirt today and then we also did a wine tumbler. If you're interested, head over to our Facebook group and join. Uh, once you join, baby onesies. Okay. Baby onesies. Okay. Any more questions before we go? We will be back on tomorrow around the same time. And I don't know. Oh, I think we're going to do a keychain. Keychain tomorrow. We're doing keychains tomorrow. Uh, Fab G52. I changed the name. So it's Peachtree Market Co. And you can um, go to the link in my bio and then click the link in my bio. Any more questions before I go? Any more questions? Okay. Well, I think that's about it. Don't forget, guys, that um, we offer a 10% off coupon on our website. It's with the code TikTok. So anything that you do, um, such as place an order with us or even like our videos or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, it really does help us. Um, I'm always here via email, chat with us on our website, um, TikTok, DM, Instagram, Facebook, um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, so if you guys ever need anything, just message me. And, um, oh, I didn't tell you guys, but um, we do have a surprise coming up. And it's going to be after my birthday. My birthday is April 3rd, for those of you who do not know. Um, my birthday is April 3rd and we are going to be doing a giveaway like a big giveaway so something that I've never did before really big giveaway um, so stay tuned but I just wanted to share with you guys that my birthday is April 3rd so it'll be after uh, April after my birthday oh great so you're in Aries <laughs> so um, definitely Definitely for sure. Keep following us. Stay tuned because we're going to announce it soon. But it will be after my birthday. So probably in the next coming weeks we'll talk about it more. Alright guys. I'm about to get out of here so I can go clean up my desk. And then I'm going to go cook dinner. So if you guys have any questions, email me. Chat with us on my website. Whatever it is. And I will answer your questions from there. See you later. Bye bye.